Hi friends! I don't normally do videos based on news events, but AWS just released SageMaker Canvas today. It's November 30th, 2021, during their big reInvent conference in Las Vegas. Here's a short blog post about it. It looks pretty cool, so I spent a little bit of time playing with it today and wanted to give you a first look. Now, a disclaimer here, my expertise in this literally consists of a couple hours poking around today, and I fully expect things to change as it matures. But let me show you what I've learned so far. Canvas, of course, is part of Amazon SageMaker, which is AWS's fully managed machine learning service. If you go to the developer guide here, you get the basics that Canvas lets you do machine learning without needing to write code or needing to be a data scientist or machine learning expert, which is pretty cool. There's some basic documentation here in the guide, but let me walk you through what I did today to get set up, build my first model, and make my first prediction. But first, let me show you the data I'm going to be working with. This actually comes from another blog post out on AWS. This is a few years old, but it's a great case study about machine learning and how it can be used to predict customer churn, or in other words, customers leaving. The scenario is for a mobile phone company, and they want to predict whether the customers are going to leave based on various bits of data they know about their customers. You can read through the post more here, but the data itself can be downloaded here. Check out the churn.txt file if you want to follow along. That's the data I'm going to be using, although I've converted mine to a CSV file. If you read through this post a little bit more, you'll see it's actually fairly involved getting everything set up, training your model, and ultimately making a prediction. So I wanted to start with the same data set and see if Canvas could do all that work for me of getting the data set up and training the model and so on, and ultimately do that prediction. All right, so here's the data. I've got all of the data here. Again, I changed this to CSV. If you downloaded it from this site, it'll be a text file. So just change your extension to CSV. Let me open this up and show you what's in here. All right, so quite a bit of data in here. We've got information about the customer's location, their state, length of their account, their phone number, their plans, voicemail plans, day calls, evening calls, and so on. You'll see all of the headers up here on the top. And then at the very end, we have this column called churn, which is, did this customer leave or not? So true or false. Now what I did was I basically took this file and I split it into a training data, which is about 70% of the data in here, roughly 2,100 rows. And then I saved some for the predictions so we can run through the remaining data and see how our model is doing. If I open this one up, you'll see here in column U that I've removed that final value that we're trying to predict because we want Canvas to do that for us. Okay, so that's the overview of the data we're using. Now let's get into SageMaker. I'm here in the AWS Management Console. If you want a quick video about how to set up an account for this, check out the video linked above. But I'm just going to type in SageMaker up on top and go to Amazon SageMaker. From here on the left, you want to click on Canvas. And this will take you to a page to set up your SageMaker domain, which as you see here is a central store to manage the configuration of SageMaker for your organization. You've got options to do a quick setup or a standard setup. I'm going to do the quick setup where we let SageMaker kind of do everything for us. For user profile down here, I'll just go with the defaults and then your execution role. If you don't have one set up already, like I do, you can create a new role and it'll walk you through a little wizard to get that set up with all of the correct permissions. All right, we'll say submit. And then it'll take a few minutes for SageMaker to set up your domain. While we're waiting on that, if you're finding this useful so far, I'd greatly appreciate you hitting that like button so it can spread to more people. Also consider subscribing to get more AWS and other content like this. I'll let this run for a few minutes and I'll be right back. All right, our domain is ready. And as shown in the instructions here, just choose your username, which is default here. And then we're gonna say launch app and canvas. This will create your default Canvas application. This might take a minute or two as well. I'll also let this one run and be right back. When that completes, you'll be dropped into Canvas here. If you click on the question mark over here, there's a nice little getting started guide that'll kind of walk you through the different steps. It's basically what I'm gonna show you right now, but you can get back to that at any time. The first thing we're prompted to do is create a new model. Now, this isn't meant to be a deep dive on machine learning, but for those of you who need a quick primer or refresher, let me just do a couple quick slides to walk you through what we're gonna do. In a nutshell, how this works is we start with our data. In our case, we have data about customers of the mobile phone provider. 
And then we pass that data into an algorithm that identifies patterns, and at the end of that process we have a trained model. Or simplifying even more, we have input, we do stuff on the input, and then we have output. So for example, input would be the phone plan, how many minutes this person uses during the day on their plan, during the evening, their international charges, and so forth. All those things from the CSV file we looked at earlier. We're going to pass all that data in, we're going to do stuff, run a bunch of computations on it, and then the output is that we can predict that the customer is going to leave or not. Okay, back to our demo. So let's start all of that by creating a new model. We'll call this customer churn. And then we need to select the data. So we'll import data to Canvas. And then at the top, you're going to have an option to upload from your computer. You'll see at the moment this is not enabled. If you go back to the documentation I showed you earlier, there's a whole section here about how to set things up if you're the IT administrator. So things around allowing users to upload their files locally, setting up single sign-on, and so forth. So what I'm going to do is use S3, or the simple storage service. If you want more info about that, check out the link above. But let me navigate to the AWS console, and I'll go upload our files to the S3 bucket so we can pull them in here. All right, I created a bucket here earlier, SageMaker Canvas TTT for Tiny Technical Tutorials. Let's go ahead and upload those CSV files that I showed you earlier. So I'm going to upload training, which again has about 70% of all of our data, and then prediction, which has the other roughly 30%. So I'll drag these over and upload. And then back in SageMaker Canvas, I'll click on the name of my bucket here. That was SageMaker Canvas TTT. And you'll see those two files are showing. So the first one we want to work with is the training data. So I'll select that and say import data. All right, that looks correct. We've got 21 columns and just under 2100 rows. We'll select data set. And then we need to tell Canvas our target column. So the target is the thing that you're trying to predict. Remember, in our case, we're trying to predict churn. And we have that column all the way down here. So that's the thing we're trying to predict. You'll see the value distribution in the data set that we're working with. If you mouse over this, 86.66% of those customers are showing no, they didn't churn, and the rest are true. For model type, Canvas automatically recommends the appropriate model based on the data. In our case, it's going to be a two-category prediction, meaning did this customer churn or not, true or false, yes or no, that kind of a thing. You can change that if you'd like, but in our case, it makes sense, so we're going to go with it. And then over here, we've got two different build options. The standard build is where you choose accuracy over speed. This will take about two to four hours. And then the quick build, it's going to be faster, but maybe not quite so accurate. Usually takes 2 to 15 minutes. So we're going to go with quick build. And it's creating our model. Again, 2 to 15 minutes. I'll let this run and be back. All right, when that's done, you're going to get some interesting information here about your model. So in our case, the model predicts the correct churn 95.5% of the time. Over here on the left, you'll see the column impact. In other words, how much of an impact did each of these columns have on ultimately figuring out whether the customer was going to leave or not. So you'll see those decrease in value there. There's additional information back here about scoring. There's some advanced metrics as well if you want to geek out on things like this around machine learning. That's all available. But ultimately what we want to do is to be able to predict new things. So based on this model that we have that we've trained with all of this known data, we want to be able to pass in new data and have Canvas predict whether those customers are going to leave or not. So let's click on predict. And now we want to select the data set to use for our predictions. So select data set. This was the training data that we used earlier, so we need to import data, the new data. Once again, I'm going to use S3. Click into the bucket here. And this was the prediction data. Remember, in this data set, we've removed the churn here. This is what we want to predict, not feed that in. That's what we were doing with the training data. So we'll select that, say import data. 
We've got just over 1,200 rows here. Select that and then say Generate Predictions. All right, once that's done, you can view predictions by clicking here. And here we go. So the prediction for this particular one is yes, this customer will leave. Here's all the information that we were using coming right from that spreadsheet. You can download this as a CSV as well, but you'll see all the roughly 1200 rows here that we were using and that we now have predictions for. If you want, you can go back and compare this to what your original spreadsheet was when we had all of that data. I did a quick check on a few rows and it was actually spot on, so pretty impressed so far. So that's it. A first look at Amazon Canvas and how to get started. Based on my very limited learning, this seems like a great solution for folks who are not machine learning experts or data scientists. So it'll be interesting to see where this goes. It's very early days though. Let me know in the comments what else you might want to learn. And thanks so much for watching.